සප්‍රසාද වන්දනාව ඔබ වෙත ගෙනීමට හැකි වන්නේ දෙවි පිය සමිඳුන්ගෙන් ලද සෑම ආශිර්වාදයකට මහා ලබා දුන් නිරෝගී සුව සහනය වෙනුවෙන් උන් වහන්සේට ස්තුති ප්‍රශංසා කරන ආදරණීය පෞලක් විසින් දක්වන ලද බැති බර දායකත්වය නිසා වෙනි presence of Jesus alive the living Jesus the living Christ the body from heaven the bread from heaven God has come down to visit us once again in the most blessed sacrament of the altar it is Jesus who is there in our midst It is Jesus whom we adore and we worship in this Eucharistic adoration, acknowledging that it is Jesus, our Messiah, our Savior. We listen to a reading taken from Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 33. It is an experience of Peter with Jesus walking on the waters, living Christ, the Savior. Then Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side of the lake while he sent the people away. After sending the people away, he went up a hill by himself to pray. When he 
when the evening came jesus was there alone and by this time the boat was far out in the lake tossed about by the waves because the wind was blowing against it between 3 and 6 o'clock in the morning jesus came to the disciples walking on the water when they saw him walking on the water they were terrified there is a god they said and screamed with fear jesus spoke to them at once courage he said this is i it is i don't be afraid then peter spoke up lord if it is really you order me to come out on the water to you come answered jesus so peter got out of the boat and started walking on the water to jesus but when he noticed the strong wind he was afraid and started to sink down in the water save me lord he said at once jesus reached out and he grabbed hold of him and said how little faith you have why did you doubt then they both got into the boat and the wind died down then the disciples in the boat worshipped him truly you are the son of god they exclaimed my dear brothers and sisters in christ as we kneel down before the living presence of jesus our savior we enter into an experience of peter and the disciples in a time of difficulty when the waves were rising up when the wind was blowing faster and stronger when their boat was tossed in the waters and they were frightened they had no idea about jesus who left them who allowed them to cross the sea of galilee onto the other side jesus sent off sent the people away back home and he was withdrawing himself onto the mountain to pray to you converse with god the living presence of god and today once more we are being brought into the presence of that jesus who was walking on the waters on the sea of galilee in the lake of genesareth when the disciples were frightened when they were afraid when they were sinking they had no idea of who who it was who was reaching out to them and they were crying and screaming as we scream and we cry every day because of the troubles we encounter because of the challenges in our family life the family life in our professions in our society we are being tossed in the waters and we have no idea how to save ourselves when Jesus comes to us walking, winning over the evil, winning over all evil powers and the devil, walking on the waters, and he comes to us to encourage us, to give us a certainty. It is he whom we worship. We adore this day, and it is he, no one else, can walk on the waters and reach out to us to save us from drowning and see how how deep was once the faith of Peter Peter says if it is you whom I do not see but I can hear your voice and if it is you Lord order me command me I will come to you imagine how powerful was that faith but even the powerful faith fails because of the troubles the gravity of the situations that we encounter little by little that strong faith fades away the doubt enters 
the devil tested him and Jesus stretched his arm to save him and here once more he is saved because he trusts in the Lord and he cries out to him save me Lord have mercy on me and we are in his presence and we want to embrace him we want to look at him we want to touch him as Moses reached on to Mount Sinai and he was changed transformed in the presence of the living God when the voice was heard it was it was in command when he spoke it was the commandment a holy place a presence of an encounter with the living God and here we are looking at him as if he's on the Mount Sinai as it at is he's on the Mount where he was preaching to the people as he feasts and as if were if he were on Mount Calvary looking at us it is he who is there holding our hands raising us up saving us from danger giving us that certainty that everything calms down things settles down with him on board and that is the beauty and the miracle of faith in that faith we adore him we worship him we glorify him and we thank him he has come down once more from heaven as the bread of life the living God in the Holy Eucharist. You shall cross the barren desert, but you shall not die of thirst. You shall walk Speak your words in foreign lands and all will understand. You shall see the face of God and me.
as Moses was transformed. As the faith of Peter was strengthened, the fear of the disciples calmed down. They all worship him in prostration because it is he who is alive and it is Jesus who is alive among us. It is the miracle of God's love. It is a miracle of God's presence in the Holy Eucharist. To him, we want to pray today in the context, in the words of Psalm 27. It is a prayer of praise. It is a prayer of hope. And it is a prayer for reconciliation. Yes, Lord, you are light and you are my salvation. I will not fear anyone. I know that you, Lord, you protect me from all danger. I will never be afraid. Even if men attack me and try to kill me, they stumble and they fall. Even if a whole army surrounds me, I will not be afraid because you are there with us and you are there with me. Even if enemies attack me, I will stretch us. I will still trust in God. Yes, Lord, I have asked you for one thing. One thing only I do ask to live in your presence, in your house all my life. To marvel there at your goodness. To ask for your guidance. In times of trouble, I know Father, I know Lord, you will shelter me. You will keep me safe in your temple and make me secure on a high rock. Yes, Lord, I know I will be able to triumph over my enemies, triumph over my sin, my weakness. With shouts of joy, I will be able to enter into your presence, offering myself as a sacrifice in your temple. Yes, Lord, I will sing. I will sing praise to you. Hear me, Lord, today, as I kneel down before you in prayer and adoration, I call upon you. Be merciful and answer me. When you said, come and worship me, I answered, I will come, Lord. Do not hide your face from me. Show up your face. Enlighten my life. Grant me a heart of consolation. I love you, Lord, and I trust in you.
Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of your kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
මෙම දිව්‍ය සප්‍රසාද වන්දනාව ඔබ වෙත ගෙනීමට හැකි වූයේ දෙවි පිය සමිතුන්ගෙන් ලද සෑම ආශිර්වාදයකට මහා ලබා දුන් නිරෝගී සුව සහනය වෙනුවෙන් උන් වහන්සේට ස්තුති ප්‍රශංසා කරන ආදරණීය පෞලක් විසින් දක්වන ලද බැතිබර දායකත්වයේ නිසාවෙනි